Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this nice pink and blue springy look. If you'd like to see how I got it, then keep on watching. First I'm going to take this plan makeup by Rolando and the collab with Beats by Deb and I'm going to take this blue, this kind of berry pink and I'm going to take this lighter pink and I'm going to make my look out of that. So I'm going to go on with that blue and I'm going to start to map out the shape that I want this uh, crease to go in and I'm going to begin to just, you know, try to build that blue up into how I want it to be. Now I'm going to try to build this blue up as much as I can. Now I'm going to go into that berry color and I'm going to begin to pat this on the edges of that blue. It might look like I'm doing it real fast, but I really am not. I had to speed this up so it wouldn't be... Uh, a 30 minute video eyeshadow. So next I'm going to take that pink color and I am going over the shades of that berry color just to blend that out. And back in with that blue because we've seemed to lost it somewhere. And again with that blue just building that up. Now that I got it where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean off my lid. So now I'm going to take the ABH um, eye primer and I'm going to begin to cut my crease. After cutting my crease, I'm going to go ahead and pat that base out so I have no wrinkles. Now I'm going in with ABH um, Soft Glam Palette and I'm going to take this lighter shade and I'm going to begin to pat that on my lid. So I'm going to take that blue and I'm going to begin to blend out those edges. And I'm going to go in with that pink and I'm going to blend out those edges of that blue. And I'm just going between these um, two colors just to make a nice gradient. Now that I got this like I wanted, I'm going with the NYX Epic Wear Liner in the shade uh, Lavender. And I'm going to remove the tape. This is so satisfying. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Color in Spring Day. Off camera I added glitter and lashes. Now I'm going in with this Touch and Soul Primer and Icy.
is Icy Sherbet Primer. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Laura Mercier Blurring Primer on my T-zone. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in Macau and Mana. I'm taking Macau and I'm going to put those on all the, you know, the lighter points on my face. And then I'm going to take the Mana and put it on the outside of my face. I know this looks a little crazy, but uh, like I said, when I blend it out, it looks good. I'm going to just blend that out with this Beauty Bakery sponge. You guys, I like these sponges. I didn't know Beauty Bakery had it going on like that. I'm going to go ahead and buy me some more. Because they don't break like the ColourPop ones do. And I really like those, but they break too easily. I used to be a brush girl. Now I am so a blender. Now I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. I don't do my um, eyebrows on camera because I feel like, you know, um, if you've seen one eyebrow tutorial, you've seen them all. Plus, I use the same thing on my eyebrows all the time. Um, the Urban Decay Brow Blade is my favorite thing to use. Okay, so now I'm going to go out with this Too Faced Concealer, the Multi-Use Concealer, Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer in Ganache. And I'm going to begin to contour my face with this. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I use the same thing on my brows all the time. Um, I tried to use Huda one time and it was like the pencil kept breaking. So I went right back to my Urban Decay. I always got five in my drawer because I buy them every time they say that, you know, you can buy one and get one half off. They are 26 bucks. So... I thought I would like Huda, and I decided to buy three of those. So I have to actually use those as well. So I've been using those to outline, and I've just been doing the rest of it with my brow blade. Now I'm going in with the a uh, Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer, and this is in the shade Peanut Butter. Oh no, this is Caramel Corn, my bad. So now I'm going in the one size blurring ultimate setting powder and I'm going to begin to set my face. So now I'm going in with this, the Crayon Case Contour Session Notebook, and I'm going to use that shade Bobby, and I'm going to begin to contour my face. So 
So I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder in number four. And I'm going to begin to brush off some of that bake. Well, I guess all of it. I'm brush off some, all of that powder off my face. Now I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tillsbury um, Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. And I think this is in the shade five. And I'm going to begin to bronze up my face. So now I'm taking this Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay .com powder blusher in Cosmo, and I'm gonna put some blush on my face. Ooh, wee, that's hard to say. Say that fast three times. Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay. So now I'm taking some of the Morphe Continuousness, and I'm gonna spray my face. And now I'm gonna begin to pat that out. And I'm going with the Danessa Myricks uh, Light Work Volume 2 Palette, and I'm gonna use chai tea and cinnamon sugar. Going in with the Color Pop BFF 4 liner. And then this is the Juvia's Place um, Lip Matte Lipstick in Lady. So now I'm going to go with the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Glass Flipper. And I'm spraying my face with a little Milani. Um, I think it's Make It Last. <laughs> a little Milani Make It Last spray. And this is the look. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to also turn on your notifications so you can be notified by any other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.